my name is Noemi from the Palmy Branch Library and this week's Grab and Go is an herb starter kit. So let's take a look at what's going to be included in today's Grab and Go. It includes, of course, our written instructions. We also have in our guide a flower pot, a tin flower pot, also a bag full of soil, potting soil, a little package of seeds. Now the seeds could be a variety. It could be cilantro, it could be oregano, it could be chives or some other herb. Uh, you will get, uh, you will have to figure out which one you're going to get. There's also a little marker with uh, a little stick that has chalkboard paint on it and of course a piece of chalk. Let's go over what's not included in the kit. We are not going to include some rocks. Now these are optional. The other option would be to put holes in the bottom of your pot. Uh, also, what I would suggest is some gloves, either gardening gloves or some rubber gloves like these, and of course water for watering your plant. So let's get started. As you can see, I've already chosen some rocks to put at the bottom of the pot. You'll notice that the rocks are small to medium size and it's just a thin layer. The reason we do this is so that there will be a space at the bottom of the pot for the water to drain. The other option is if you don't want to do that, you can also put holes on the bottom of your pot. But when you do that and you water your plant, make sure to put it on something else that's going to catch the water. And we're going to go ahead and now put in the potting soil. Also before we begin, you might want to take a look at the back of the package. That back of the package is going to have some very valuable information as far as how to plant and when to plant. It'll give you instructions on the depths of the soil, uh, how far apart to put that in, and also some other instructions that's very valuable. So you might want to read that first. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by putting in some soil. Now I'm not going to put in the whole thing just yet. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in some of it. But you'll notice that I'm going to keep part of it in reserve and I'm going to use my hands and gloves here. You'll notice that I put on some gloves to spread out some of this uh, soil. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the seeds and I'm going to start planting them. Now according to the directions on this one, it says that we need to uh, plant these seeds about a quarter of an inch depth. But you'll notice these seeds are super tiny. Look at that, they're super tiny. And so depending on what you get, I would say just sort of sprinkle them there, like this, in there, and there. Make sure you get them in there. And then this is when you use your reserve soil. Make sure it's not too much because remember it's only a quarter of an inch deep that you're going to plant those. And then the rest you can probably just put in the corners or along the edges if you need to. If they're too deep, you might want to dig those seeds out if you can find them again. But anyways, you might want to not put in that extra soil. That way you have to make sure that they're close enough to the to the top. Okay, so now we're ready to add a little bit of water. Now we don't want to saturate the, the soil, but we do want to make sure that it's moist. And I would suggest that after you do this every day, check your soil to make sure that it's got enough water in it. Don't overwater it, but make sure that it does have some moisture in there. Now here we're finished. I've already put it in my, my marker, which will remind me that I've planted chives. I went back to the package to make sure that I identified it correctly. And remember that this will start sprouting within five to seven days, more or less. Make sure you put it in a windowsill so that it has plenty of light. Here is an example of something that we planted about two weeks ago. This is actually cilantro. And remember, always make sure to put it where there's plenty of sunlight and make sure to, ch to check that soil to make sure that it's moist, not saturated. Remember 
that these kits will be available at the Palmy Branch Library on Wednesday, March the 3rd, and remember that there will be a limited supply of kits available.